Hello, my name is Ewan and I am here today for Gamers Insight, the fantastic price comparison website. We're going to be having a look at Games Planet today. It's going to be in our usual three parts of the video, you know, it's good to have a format, it gets through the video. And in part one, we're going to be looking at what we have, you know, what Games Planet has to offer for us. We're going to have a look at reviews. We might compare a couple prices of games from Games Planet to Steam. You know, why would you use one rather than the other if Games Planet doesn't have better deals? You know? Um, part two, we're going to be having a look at uh, the process of actually buying a game. Since, you know, Games Planet, whilst not being one of the most known websites, the people that do know it, uh, do know about it, so they have a reputation. And in part three, we're going to do a direct comparison between Games Planet and Fanatical. So if you haven't watched our Fanatical video yet, I highly suggest you go and watch that one as well. Pause this one, watch that one, you know, it, it might give a little bit more context when we're comparing the two. So, uh, I'd say that enough of me chit-chatting about what's going to happen, let's actually do it. Kings Planet, you know, aesthetics, I like that it is actually quite a dark theme rather than um, instant gaming, for example, that does have the night mode option, but still, this one is default. Very steamy, you know, with the dark blues and greys, but it uh, it keeps your eyes quite rested. So if you are looking at the screen for a long time, if you've got bright white colours shooting at you, it uh, it hurts your eyes a lot more. So you know, it uh, it looks very much like a marketplace, but it it is technically an authorised reseller, just as much as um, Fanatical is. But in my opinion, this is authorised and wrong. Why? It's authorised and wrong because they're authorised for some games and not for others. But the way they phrase it, it's as if they're authorised for everything. So they're trying to extend that insurance policy that they have on just a few games onto all of the games that they have. So yeah, that's a bit of a shady practice. <sighs> Do with that information what you will. So, um, again, I complain about this a bit too much because we've not yet found something that accommodates my needs. You know, one of the perks of doing this, doing what I do, is finding cheap deals for myself as well. But uh, we still haven't seen proper console games yet. So, Games Planet is only for Mac. Linux and Windows. No console games here. Again, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I won't complain about it much more, but I, I might say more later, just you know, to get the rage out. Um, let's have a look at what's here because it, I was having a bit of a browse before starting the recording, and they have some really interesting deals. I mean, look at For Honor. Nine dollars for For Honor. Your what? Yeah, so let's have a look for example right here. It's nine dollars. How much is for honor on steam right now? Uh, and again because of where I am steam defaults to this currency Let's just copy that and we can put it right here. I have this ready oh. That is $17 so compared to our games planet price which is a low low nine dollars that's actually an amazing deal let's have a look at far cry 5. far cry 5 oh my god that's steep <laughs> yeah that's uh, i mean i don't really need to convert it to know that that is pretty steep yeah, that's $67. Wow, that is still very expensive considering that it's not an old game, but it's been out for a bit now. Uh, and on our Games Planet, it was $21. So yeah, actually, some really, really interesting deals there. So we can also compare to prices of games that we've bought in the past. I mean, you've seen me buy Assassin's Creed, which is an amazing game, in my opinion, as I've already stated. 
actually didn't ask in that video, you know, what's your favourite Assassin's Creed? At this point, there's been so many. Uh, yeah, that is a lot higher price than what we bought it for. I think we bought it for something like four dollars, something, I mean, maybe even lower. I uh, bought quite a few games now for you guys, and yeah, I mean, let's have a look at reviews because I did briefly mention earlier that um, Games Planet does have a little bit of a reputation within the people that do know it. So um, basically. So you confirm payment, some of the key resellers, especially with PayPal, will ask you for a screenshot of your ID, or you holding your ID, which is all kinds of shady, but it, on the one hand, it's not completely their fault because they do need to do these security checks. On the other hand, uh, show me someone that will send a picture of their ID to anyone, to anywhere where they're buying something without hesitation. It, it just makes it feel shadier than it has to be. That's my take on it, at least. And we can see that Games Planet does have a nice 4.6. Um, I'll say this again, Trustpilot, I don't know how much I personally trust Trustpilot, because I do I do know that you can you know, pay them to remove reviews or, yeah. It's not the best for me, in my opinion, but it's so commonly used that we do have to take it into account. So, as usual, we'll have a look at the bad, and 1 stars, 11% is quite high compared to what we've usually seen, 71 5 stars. It's not low in a general sense, but it's low when you look at the reviews that we've seen of other websites. So, let's just have a look at the bad here, you know, the spilt tea, I am British, I do love my tea. <laughs> so... It is good to see that they have responded. Purchase activated and suspended. Oof, that's not what you want to see. When we talked about the ways that these websites get their gains um, in the instant gaming video, we did talk about the three methods in which most commonly these websites will get gains. And one of them was with stolen credit cards, which is the cases where this usually happens. So, good on them that they did answer, I'm not sure, you know, how much they helped the guy rather than they just pooped on him. Yeah, this, this looks a bit aggressive in my opinion, but yeah. Yeah, they disabled my account and blocked me from Facebook. Ah, that's fun. God, it should be operating in the UK, let alone the US. Is that to say that the US is better than the UK? Excuse you? Yeah, and like we said in the past also, these are some long reviews, like when it's bad, it's really, really, really bad. My goodness. Well, it doesn't look great, I'll, I'll say that, but for, you know, justice sake, We'll have a quick glance at the at the excellence. Which is quite a long five-star review, to be honest. Got a great deal on AAA games. Just seventy-one percent off. This is probably one of the deals. Since it is from eleven hours ago, it is probably one of the deals um, right here. You know, these are quite good games at good prices if they do deliver what they promise. Um, yeah, you know, this seems to be satisfied people. So with these websites, uh, the horror stories are always less than the good experiences, but you all, there's always that possibility that you end up in the horror story. And I guess looking at reviews, looking at different websites, is to minimize the chance of you picking the one where you will be on the, let's say, the short end of the stick. So with that said, I do think that we can um, go into part two and buy the game. And by the way, if you do want to have a look for yourself on the website, the links are always in the description. So just pop down and you can have a click, even if you just want to listen to my lovely voice whilst you're having a look at the website for yourself. You can go ahead and do that also. So um, we haven't bought any indie games at all on this, uh, let's call it review series. 
And I think that indie games deserve a bit of love as well. I had a browse and I saw one that was interesting. And it had a good price on it as well. Degrees of separation. $3 is chips. Like, at almost nothing. So let's go ahead. I mean, the, the art looks quite cute. It looks like a bit of a platformer. I don't know. Let's give it a try. It's an indie game. No, not, not the highest of expectations. Uh, actually, before I do go in for the purchase or add it to cart, uh, we can see that right here it is for Steam. We have a rating, gives us a genre, gives us a genre. Uh, languages delivery you know through steam again it reinforces what we see right here uh, it gives us a publisher as well which for an indie game it's good to you know give that little bit of publicity uh, yeah again reinforcing it is a steam key it's funny but yeah original price we can see it's flash deal so probably by the time that this video is um, it's out uh, the deal won't be here anymore but still have a look, it does seem that every week they have different deals, which is quite nice. Let's add it to cart. Uh, they do try the recommending game. My curiosity is, how does Desperados 3 connect to Degrees of Separation? How? Is it just because it's a $60 game and you want me to spend $60 on your website? Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. So, <laughs> that was a bit... Bit sassy, sorry for that. Um, we can see right here our payment methods, uh, which is quite nice. Does it tell us if there are any fees on top? Mm, I'm not sure, we can have a voucher. Hmm. T's and C's, and it's not even a tick box T's and C, it's just when I purchase, I'm automatically agreeing, which is, you know, a bit sus. But uh, yeah, choose whatever payment option you prefer. For me, that's going to be probably credit card, but I do advise use PayPal. I always mention this. They are more on your side when it comes to online transactions and they always help you get your money back. So I will see you in a minute. I'm gonna put my details in and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I put my details in. It been confirmed I believe let's uh, status paid order that just now mm, it's on my games so where's my key uh, enable this product question mark ah here's my key all right lovely uh, so let's go into Steam. Uh, I need to log in because of course I need to log in. Uh, give me a minute and I'll meet you on Steam. Okay, so I have Steam open. Uh, let's just control C this. Always really, really appreciate it when I can do this. Uh, let's go over here and we can just paste that in. Oh, T's and C's. I always forget to agree to T's and C's where it is here. Um, activation successful so let's have a search here degrees of separation and by the way it is not expensive but yeah quite a bit more of a price over here uh, what well, that should be about what 12 euros sorry I know how to convert it to euros not to dollars but yeah the game is in fact in my library that was quite quick and easy, I'll be honest. Um, was it too easy? Is there anything like, is, does too easy exist? Anyways, the game looks quite cute. Um, yeah, I mean, it worked. So why did I say that this is a authorized reseller done wrong? And why do, would we compare it to Fanatical? So let's go into part three and we can talk about this. And the thing is that Fanatical is basically, in my, in my eyes, uh, keeping to side the fact that I am a console gamer. Um, Fanatical is probably the top tier of online key resellers. Why? Because, well, the website feels legit. The transactions are quite easy, the support is really good. 
with uh, Games Planet, it not that it feels wrong in any sense. It just the website has a different feel to it, but they they have these shady practices. Um, you know, having and being an authorized reseller for let's say even fifty percent of your content and umbrella you know putting all of the content um, under the umbrella of 100% legit keys is just plain out wrong now I'm not saying that everything on Fanatical is 100% legit because I, I'm not sure about that you can't you know I don't want to be quoted on that because I'm not 100% sure about that but honestly from what I have seen and the research that I've done about Fanatical uh, I feel that they're quite good from what I've seen on Games Planet, the website is decent, but uh, the fact that they do go to these little lengths of um, blanketing everything under that 100% guarantee, I don't know, it, it feels wrong to me. It, it's lying at the end of the day, is it not? So I would much prefer that you spend your money on a website like, again, Fanatical or either than others. I mean, instant gaming was quite good. Uh, not a good console game variety, but still, <laughs> games for PC were there. Um, I do believe that there are better options. Now, as I always try to say, these are my opinions. This is my point of view. You're looking at it through my lens, and then again, it is my video. <laughs> but always go onto the website, do a bit of your own research and I do hope that watching this video is part of that research. Um, I do hope that it was informative for you and let's just go through what we've talked about today. We've seen what uh, Games Planet has to offer, what the online reviews say about it. You know, we compared a bit you know, looking at prices here and there, you know, if the prices were identical to what's on Steam, then why not just buy directly off Steam? But they're not. We saw that there are actually some amazing deals for AAA titles. You know, not the most recent games, but nonetheless, they are still amazing games. Um, the question is, are those deals only on there or can you find them on other websites that might be a bit, bit more trustworthy? Uh, draw your own conclusions, take the information that I relay for you and please make your own decisions and if you do want to have a look at Games Planet, link down below, uh, let, let us know, tell us in the comments if anybody does have experience with Game Planet and what it's been, maybe I'm completely wrong, please, by all means prove me wrong in the comment section down below. I will see you in the next video and have a lovely day.